Hello and welcome to another video. This is gonna be quite a windy one. We have about 8 to 10 meters per second today. It is November and the wind is coming from the north, so it's a very, very cold day. We're gonna do some uh, looking back over the, the fish we caught over the day, or I caught. I'm here with uh, my colleague Per today, he's fishing a little bit further away here. But I thought I'd cover a little bit what, how we fish when it's so windy like this. Inside on the shallows here, you have much calmer uh, conditions than you have farther out on the open water where it's like white tips on the waves and it shows that it's probably like 8 meters per second or more. Uh, it's no point to cast out there. Not, not good spin fishing and not good fly fishing I would say. The, the fish tend to be here on the inside. Caught fish today in, in places like that where it's just creating like a carpet of foam on the surface. That's a really cool fishing. Otherwise I also like fish where it's a lot of rocks. Uh, where there's like waves uh, pushing onto quite big rocks. That's the place where I caught fish today. Yep, got one. It's a little bit nicer. Good strike. Holding the rod to flow. All over the place. Oh, that's cool. Such a jumper. Took the end fly, so I've caught one on each fly today. Whoa, that's all. <laughs> Going in circles around me. Yeah, I got it. Nice, nice fish. So being out in the little bit colder autumn and beautiful sea trout like this. Have you seen one jumping that much? That's really what sea trout is about. So I put the camera behind a big rock so hopefully we can get rid of most of the wind noise uh, I'm using a, just the normal setup for sea trout like the 7 way trout what I do, what the difference though and I do is that I have an 8 weight line here this is the 8 weight exo line it fits perfectly for the very solid rod it's very, very solid, it's very strong rod so it handles great the 7 weight but I mean it's just it just performs well in the 8 weight line as well uh, different from that a little bit thicker leader you can shorten the leader and make it thicker so the tip I have here the thinnest part of the leader it's like 0 31 today quite thick and just a little bit over 9 foot usually I have like 13, 14, 15 foot but today I'm just using like 10 foot why is it that I use a floating line when there is big waves like this. Usually uh, people are, are talking about having like an intermediate line so it doesn't go up in the wave tips when there's big waves. I kind of disagree. I like to fish a floating line still because I fish more on the swing. I don't fish straight across the waves. I fish with the waves and uh, therefore I can, it doesn't matter that the line is on top of the surface and also I can fish very very shallow water. The first fish I caught this morning was 
in extremely shallow water, as you can see in this clip. There it is, <laughs> minor, took on a drop reply. As you can see, the weather conditions are really tough today. But I caught the first fish of the day, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Took on this uh, little fly, like a Brenda style uh, fly. Everything small and brown used to work when the water is getting colder now in the autumn. Really nice, took very shallow. This is just a small fish, but very good start. Feels good to be out. Gonna let this one go. Okay. There's another rock. One issue you can have when you have uh, very windy conditions is that the water gets murky. Uh, the waves and the wind we have today is very fresh. It's been calm during the night, and then the wind picked up this morning. So the water is still very clear. When it hasn't been windy for so long, it ain't that dirty. It, it is uh, quite clear. I mean, it's not that much stuff floating around in the, in the water. So today is just perfect in this, even though it's, the waves are huge out there, they're gonna make the water more and more color during the day. But at the moment, it's just fine. We have like a, a light color uh, on the water, which I, I just, would say it's just positive for the fish. Uh, they, they, it's a little, like a little bit of a camouflage for the fish. They are more confident into going to very shallow water. So here's a clip where I fished, where the water was, color was so pretty. It's the lime color of the water uh, that picks up from uh, from the kind of bottom we have here, have here on Gotland, and I just love that kind of color. So it's like. A little green bluish hint on the on the water color uh, and the fish was standing very near the, the or in very shallow water yep I got one <laughs> it's the tiniest fish like swimming towards me. Let's see if we can get this one in. I'm gonna let the camera a bit. You got it? Whoa, it's swimming. All around. When you have the fish nearby, keep your legs together. <laughs> I can really turn bad otherwise. Right, here it is. Ah, that's 40 centimeters maybe. Well hooked, this predator dubbing fake fish. Fish just parallel with the waves. I'm not, I'm not casting out into the waves, I'm more casting along with them. Really good strike. I had a little struggle though at that place because there was a lot of grass floating around in just that particular spot. Um, so that can happen. It can be dirty water but don't give up the entire spot. You can actually like try to walk a little bit in the water if you come to if you go out in the water it's very much like grass and stuff floating around. You can just move a little bit like walk further away don't give up immediately it can be very local so it can be much clearer further away so that's a that's a useful trick I'm positively surprised about today with a few hours of fishing in heavy northern winds that we actually managed to 
like catch three fish. Uh, it's definitely good with autumn fishing like this. I'm under a roof. With autumn fishing, it can't be so hard on yourself when you're doing weight fishing like this. Fish can can sometimes be far out, so it's not always the easiest to catch them. And days are short as well, so if if you don't find them. A day can quickly pass by. Um, catching some fish today, yeah, I'm really happy about it. Definitely, when it's such a heavy wind from the north. Um, I've been asked to if I could do some videos like this, even from when I posted the first YouTube video uh, on my on my channel, and asked like, can you do like just a normal day sea trout fishing and I think I will do some more so I'm very happy to hear your comments and thoughts about the video but you would like to see more of uh, in future videos like this uh, it's quite limited what I could do uh, concerning concerning audio and stuff when it's this windy because we have water splashing up so everything needs to be waterproof so sound is not that great perhaps I'll try to improve it in a day where it's a little bit calmer but thank you for sticking out with that through the video and uh, please consider subscribe and yeah as always i'm happy to hear your thoughts down below of this video so bye